What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a Gen 9 favorite. We got ourselves a Belly Belly Bolt team with Choice Specs, Fluttermane, and Clear Amulet Roy Moon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Come on, what are you doing? Take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. We are pushing 20,000 subscribers. I'm super excited to hit that milestone. So again, if you're not supporting me, get on top of that. Get on top of that. But to get us started here with today's team preview, we got the one and only Elephant. We got Great Tusk in the top left corner as our first Pokemon with Protosynthesis and the Focus Ash. This Pokemon is already strong enough, but with this moveset, it is even stronger. It's got Headlong Rush, Close Combat, and Stone Edge, three crazy strong moves. And then last but not least, we have a secret move on this Pokemon, which is going to be Taunt. You know, no one's going to expect this thing to have Taunt, so if they have support mods, we're going to come out there, Taunt them with the Great Tusk, and it's just going to be like a little sneaky move that this Great Tusk has. Second Pokemon is going to be our Clear Amulet Roaring Moon. It's got Breaking Swipe, Throat Chop, Terra Blast, which will switch to Fire, because that's its Terra type, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. Fluttermane is going to be our third Pokemon. This one has Choice Specs, though. Boosting its special attack, but only keeping it to be able to use one move. And it's Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Power Gem, and Moon Blast. Can't really go wrong, wrong with that moveset for a Fluttermane. Arcanine is going to be our fourth Pokemon. Arcanine is good for two reasons here. One, it's going to be great at dropping physical attack with the Intimidate and the will o -Wisp. And two, it's going to be great with its uh, first turn priority with the E-Speed. So that's going to be really good both ways. I think Arcanine, we're going to be seeing a good bit of them in today's video. It has Intimidate, the Air Balloon, will o -Wisp, Protect, E-Speed, and Flare Blitz. Fifth Pokemon on today's team is the reason I picked it. We got ourselves Belly Belly Bolt. One of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. It just looks hilarious. It's a little electric frog. I love it. I just love it. It's got Electromorphosis. Is that how you pronounce that? Big words, big words there. Electromorphosis. Hopefully I'm right. Not too sure. But that's its ability right there. When it gets hit, it gets charged and it can do more damage. Then we got the Salt Vest as item. Thunderbolt, Sucker Punch, Parabolic Charge, which, which is its signature move. And we got Muddy Water, which will be sad if we Terrasize with this Pokemon. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Torkoal. So Torkoal here, very situational. Going to be good for weather control and for Trick Room. So if other team pops Trick Room, we're going to be bringing in Torkoal. If other team has weather control, we're going to be bringing in Torkoal. He has Drought, he has the Citrus Berry, Helping Hand, Overheat, Yawn, and Clear Smog. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Series 2 Belly Bolt team. First match coming at you guys, and we're both using Roar Moon, and we're both using Great Tusk, but they also have Don Dozo and Tasugiri. Little bit of a problem, definitely a little bit of a problem, but we could actually bring Torkoal in to counter that. We have Clear Smog on it to drop it, but still, Wave Crash from that thing could do me dirty. They also have Gargonackle and Amoongus. Could be tough, but I still kind of want to bring Torkoal in, right? I still kind of want to bring in Torkoal. It's Drought could, uh neglect or decrease the water damage that's going to be coming in from Don Dozo. and then plus like i already mentioned clear smog could be really good but belly bolts could be my boy belly belly bolts gonna be my dog i definitely want to bring him in here speed's on the lower side but i don't mind using it i really don't mind using it i really do like it, it does have sucker punch as well so i might lead it i might lead the bolt i'm gonna lead the bolt we're gonna get bolt in with it bolt's gonna be our first pokemon and then on top of that i could lead tusk actually i could lead tusk and moon i could lead tusk and moon Tusk, Moon, Fluttermane's great here, though. As much as I want to go into Tor hey, you know what, screw it. We use Fluttermane already so much, so I'm just going to go Torkoal and Belly Bolt. Fluttermane would be good. If I had, like, money on this game, I would definitely use Fluttermane here, but we're going to rock out with Belly Bolt here. Got to get Belly Bolt out here. He's going to be on the thumb now. He is just the man, and I don't use Belly Bolt too much. Got to rock out with it when I have the chances to, right? We'll use Fluttermane probably in tomorrow's video anyway. <laughs> it's been in, like, nine consecutive videos. They're going to end up leading these two. We go Roar Moon and we go Great Tusk. I thought maybe Amoongus would become a lead, but this is hilarious that we're just mirror matching up here. The Protosynthesis is going to pop from him. I do not have that. I have something called the Clear Amulet. And from here, I could go with the Combat. I could Combat down. I could definitely Combat down. But you know what? I'm going to predict a Terrasilization from theirs into Flying. And what do I do here? Do I just Protect? I might not even Terrasilize you. I'm just going to protect you. I'm going to predict the Terrasilization to flying on the Roar Moon. And I'm going to just protect my own. So here comes Terrasilization. Show me flying. Give me that flying. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have Focus Ash. We have Focus Ash. Oh, we might be EQ and it's kind of scary. 
Hopefully my Great Tusk can at least outspeed his his uh, Great Tusk. But I protect my moon. It could be EQ Acrobatics, which is a little scary. But we had a big time. We had a big time read with that Thrasization. He ends up going for a Tailwind. Hopefully he's close combating into me. Just goes for an EQ. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. So good thing I did not Thrasize in that fire. Could have been bad. Could have definitely been bad. So we protect it, and now we land at Stone Edge. Amazing read from us, and we just rip up some big time damage into that. That's some big time damage. So from here, I think I had to swap the moon, right? It's either he close combats me. What are, what are you gonna do? Is he gonna EQ again? Could EQ. EQ's terrifying. We have to get rid of this thing. We have to get rid of this uh, tusk. Hmm. What is my play? What is my play? Because this thing's kind of annoying. I ain't gonna lie. I could double down into the Tusk. I think I'm just gonna Breaking Swipe and, and Headlong Rush into that thing. That's definitely gonna be my play. So Acrobat's gonna fly out here. I think he just picks up the KO onto, yeah, Tusk. Tusk dies out. And we're hoping we can at least KO his Warren Moon and get that attack drop onto his, uh, his Tusk. Because Tusk is just a problem. Ice Spinner comes out here. We're able to soak, but that's a little scary, right? Breaking Swipe flies through here. KOs the Warm Moon. More importantly, gets the attack drop onto that Great Tusk. So now we're sitting here uh, in a kind of a tough position. I mean, Belly Bolt has to be the call with Muddy Water Terrestrialization, right? Unless we're going flying to. Flying Torkoal could be the man. <laughs> he could be the man. But I feel like I have to, like, potentially save Torkoal, right? I think I have to potentially save Torkoal. And the reason being, in case you have Tasugiri and Don Dozo. Exactly. Exactly. We might need you. We're gonna actually need both of them. We have to actually Terrasize you. So I'm just gonna Muddy Water this. And I could just Breaking Swipe. I think I just Breaking Swipe again. We'll see what they wanna do. We shall see. But yeah, Tusk is a problem. Same thing with Don Dozo. Both problems. And we have two Pokemon that can really get some work done here, right? We have Belly Bolt who can shred into Don Dozo. It can absolutely shred into Don Dozo. But Great Tusk defeats it. And then we have Torkoal, which can counter Don Dozo pretty well. I mean, probably can't one on one it. I mean, you're dead to that. Probably can't one on one it. But it can definitely help us out. And then again, Great Tusk takes it out. So we just need to get rid of this Great Tusk. We really do. Headlong Rush comes through here. Defense Drop is coming in hot here. Defense Drop is in hot. And we're going for this Muddy Water here. And we Electromorphosis, however you pronounce it. <laughs> so Muddy Water coming in here. Can we KO? Can we get rid of this Tusk? Oh, that hurts. That really does hurt. That really does hurt. I have Sucker Punch. I do have Sucker Punch, but I don't know how to feel about it. We do have Sucker Punch. Now we bring out Torkoal. And... I don't want to yawn. Um, I definitely want to Sucker Punch, I think. I don't think he knows that we have Sucker Punch. Which could be really good for us. But at this point, just Sucker Punch you. I don't think Sucker Punch can KO. I really hope it can, because we kind of need it here. I can help. Can I help him hand a Sucker Punch? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. I wish I could protect, but I'm just... I'm just clear smog this slot in case he swaps it. He does not. KO? No! Come on, man! That ain't right! That ain't right! That ain't right! That is just not right. Now I die. That's not right. Could I, could I have helping hand it that sucker punch? That is not cool. Is there any way we can win this match? I don't think we can. We don't have Terra. We're gonna yawn. What are we gonna yawn this thing? Clear smog, clear smog it down. Oh, that hurts, Belly Bolt. That really hurts. The sucker punch does not KO. The sucker punch does not KO. Tailwind's gone, but it's game over because Don Dozo's coming out here. Don Dozo is coming out here. And if that sucker punch KO, we win that match. We win that match, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we would win that match. Because I could start par Parabolic charging, getting some HP back, all that good stuff. Their Tailwind would end it, even though I have slow Pokemon, and he would outspeed me the first turn. I just think we would have been fine there. 
I really do. That's a tough one, but match number one goes to our opponent. I'm gonna run. This poor turtle stands no chance at one on one. Poor turtle stands no chance at one on one. Again, we're gonna run it. We're gonna hop through a second match, look for our first victory. Second match coming at you guys. Let's put that first one in the past and get after it. Looking for a win here, going up against Indidi and Armouge, always a problem, alongside with Sylveon, Tatsugiri, and Dondozo, and then they have a Torkoal, just like us. Just like us, they are rocking out with Torkoal. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? Great Tusk isn't too bad here. He can headlong rush through Pokemon. Pretty solid. Roar Moon's not bad here either, considering it's dark, and if they lead Indidi and Armouge, we can get straight after it. So do I want to do that? Who do I want to go into here? Sylveon's a problem. Sylveon's a problem. We have no Steel-type Pokemon to absolutely rip into that. So, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. What is my play? I do have Fire Terror, which is bad. I could actually go War Moon and Torkoal to get things started here. But then that then that leaves Armouge to do some big time damage. But I'm kind of about it. I'm about it. We're going to do that. Belly Bolt in the back end. And then last but not least, um, Tusk. It's Tusk or Fluttermane, right? Hmm. I said we just go in the flutter me. We have a lot of versatility with that. We have power gem, we can shadow ball, we have our fairy moves. It's all choice spec too, so that could be some big time damage. So I'm all about it. I like this lead too. Because we could potentially fire Terrasilize our Roaring Moon and just Terra Blast through. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm kind of scared of the Sylveon, so that's exactly why I'm going into this. So maybe we'll see a Sylveon lead if they go in DD Armors. I'm about it too. Because I know Armors isn't really surviving a big time eruption, right? Unless, mm, expanded force can do me dirty. I mean, we don't even have eruption. We have overheat. And I know you're not surviving the overheat. So we coming after that. We coming after you. Arcanine could have been solid. Arcanine definitely could have been solid if it had Snarl. Snarl Arcanine shreds through in DD armors. And that's exactly who they need. Come on, man. What you want, fool? Come on, man. I might not even Terrasilize here. I don't think there's a point of Terrasilize, right? If we Terrasilize in the fire, we kind of just like let the expanding force hit us. That's not too cool. So I could clear smog if they go for attack boost, but I'm with this. I, I like where we're at. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw chop here. I think I'm just gonna go after this Indeedee slot, right? I could Terrasilize. Yeah, I could go for a yawn onto this slot. Hmm. I could definitely yawn. That's exactly what I'm gonna try to do. Because Indeedy might follow me. I don't know what it's going to do. Armouge could protect. I think he's definitely scared of what we got going. Or she's scared of what we got going here. Because I always pose that threat. Like, I, I could have an eruption, but I don't. And I think that's what they're thinking. Like, dude, they're probably thinking, like, this this guy's going to erupt on me. Do some big time damage rhetorical in the sun. So follow me might not be the play. But I'm, I'm kind of hoping we just... Uh, we're just able to get off the Sean on the armors. That's really what I'm hoping. So Terrasilize comes out here. That's got to be on the armors, right? You some kind of mind reader? Who Terrasilizes her Indeedee? Who does that? Who does that? That's the real question. That is the real question. Who does that skill swap coming in here? Whoa there, partner. Whoa there, partner. Skill swapping. Doing some damage right here. But more importantly, we get off this big time yawn here. And we know we can eat up another expanded force after that citrus burn. Great please. So we get off this yawn. I like that. I like that a lot. And now I can actually just rip into you, right? What is up with this skill swap kind of thing? I'm kind of scared. I wish I had protect. I might save the Torkoal, right? He's got a swap. Who could he swap into, though? Sylveon he could swap into. I don't like that. Hmm. Might just get rid of this Indeedee. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this Indeedee with clear smog and throw chop. Because I think he swaps the armors, right? You have to swap the armors here. There's no way you don't swap the armors, first of all. You don't. I could just rip into that thing. Okay, we take you out. That's that's fine. So we rip into you. We get rid of you. We have a yawn. So armor is gonna go to sleep this next turn. I do like that. I do dig that. And are you going for another expanded force? I don't mind that. Wow, we're out speeding that thing. Oh, you're going for trick room. 
So you go for Trick Room. That just gives my Torkoal some free shots here. The Torkoal came to play. And now you're asleep. Alright, we like that. We like that. So whatever Pokemon comes out next year is taking a big time overheat. And then this Arm Rouge is still dying to the Storm Chop, right? It's going to be Silver. So we are definitely overheating that thing. Trick Room's out and about. I don't even want to Terrasalize, but I might have to, right? I think I have to. I have to Terrasalize, and we're just going to go for an overheat. We have to Terrasalize. We can't We can't eat up any type of... Oh, you're going to withdraw. I was going to say, we can't eat up any type of fairy move coming out from the Sylveon. And Fire Terror type does really good here. So he ends up swapping into Torkoal of its own. So we're throw chopping into that, and we are also overheating the Sylveon. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. We still have the Belly Bolt in the back end. Belly Bolt's not anything special up against these opponents, but he can get some work done with Sucker Punches and stuff. And a Detect comes out. That's a big time Detect. I don't mind it too much, though. They now know we're Fire Terror, but still. Sylveon, I don't think Sylveon, like, really rocks any moves besides... Besides Fairy moves. So I could actually go into a Terror Blast here if I want to. I'm just going to throw a chop. Another throw a chop into the Torkoal slot, and we're trying to land this overheat here. We're trying to just rip into the Sylveon with overheat. Because like I said, Sylveon was going to be a problem. This is why I led both these Pokemon, just to kind of get after it. And they're going to drop an Earth Power with Torkoal. And wow, that did, did a bit too much damage, right? Overheat comes out here. Can we KO? Wow, yo, this is bulky for no reason. For no reason. Hyper Voice flies here. More Moon dies out. Okay. Belly Bolt's rather slow. So I kind of like Belly Bolt here. <clears throat> I am scared of Earth Power, but that will Parabolic charge us. But that is not too bad. And if I kind of just waste out Trick Room, you would be sitting fine. Plus, we have Assault Vessel on my Belly Bolt. I get down with that. They just have Arm Rouge in the back end. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. So here, I want to go for the Parabolic Charge, which I am going to do. And I think I might just hit up on my Torkoal because I can. Because they're probably going to KO it anyway. 41 speed, 58. So Torkoal is going to go fast first. So I could help a hand it, or I could just clear smog damage here. Which I'm thinking of doing, because I want to make sure the Sylveon goes down more than anything. So I'm going to get after Sylveon. They have Arm Rouge, who's asleep. And then I have two Pokemon who can't protect. Belly Bolt and Flutterman. Okay. Alright, alright. This thing ends up detecting. I was going to say it might detect, too. This thing's just going to Earth Power and take me out, right? Ouch. That one hurts. That one hurts. There's only a few more turns left in Trick Room. We have Belly Bolt going for a Parabolic Charge. Should be able to chip up some nice damage onto Torgol. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. A Belly Bolt ripping. Okay, so Harsh Sunlight's gone, and Trick Room's got to have, like, one more turn. I think it has one more turn. And I would love to protect, but I simply cannot protect. I simply cannot protect with any of my Pokemon. So from here, what is the play? Muddy Water Muddy Water will take out Torkoal. Muddy Water will take out Torkoal, and then I have to choice into a move here. It's going to be Shadow Ball, because they do have armors, so it's going to be Shadow Ball. It is going to be Shadow Ball. That's a play all day. Earth Power is going to fly here. Belly Bolt soaks pretty well due to that Assault Vest. And Electromorph is going to charge up our next shot. And our opponent cancels battle. Okay, fair. That's fair. I think he wanted. I think he wanted that to KO, right? I think he was like, "This has to KO," and then it didn't because we were so best hit and our opponent just quits. But I think our opponent kind of had a shot. I'm trying to think. Let's see how this muddy water would have played out here. Muddy water lands. It will show the turn. Torkoal's dead. And what's Sylveon going for here? What are you going for, Sylveon? Let's see. I like how it shows the whole play. Oh, I guess it doesn't. But there's a dub. Final match coming at you guys. Belly Bolt in that last battle made our opponent quit. We would have won the battle regardless. That Muddy Water KO'd the Torkoal. That Shadow, Shadow Ball was going to KO the Sylveon. And then Trick Room would end it. And it would have been a Shadow Ball Choice Specs Fluttermane versus a Sleep Armor. So would have been no problem for us. We won that battle fair and square. But third and final match coming at you guys. Going up against Kilowattro and Garchomp combo. They can Discharge. They can EQ with that. They also have Fluttermane, Amoongus, Titar, and Warmoon.
I want to bring Belly Bolt, but I don't think I can bring Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt just does really like nothing up against these Pokemon. So I think we're going to go in with the big squad and try to grab ourselves a winning record here. Torkoal's actually not too bad. I don't mind Torkoal, especially for taking weather control away from him. But I also like the lead of Great Tusk. I really like Great Tusk here. He can get some work done. Arcanine's not too bad here either. So I'm going to lead Arcanine alongside with Great Tusk. And then I am going to go in with Torkoal and Fluttermane. Torkoal and Flutz. Choice specs, Fluttermane to be exact. Because again, fairy moves are just ripping up against these team. It really is. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a winning record here in match number three. But yeah, Belly Bolt. I, I used it in the first two matches. It just can't. It just can't be brought here, right? It just simply cannot. Especially a uh, Kilowatt could be Volt Absorb. I highly doubt it is. Probably more so like Wind Power. But it could be Volt Absorb. It does learn that ability. And they do end up leading these two. They do end up leading both these Pokemon. So Arcanine's going to come out of here. I do have the Air Balloon on Arcanine, which, which is lovely. And Intimidate's going to work wonders. Lovely Intimidate. You're not competitive, right? I knew it. You're not competitive. You are definitely wind powered. So from here, I think Stone Edge is just a play. Just pop a big time Stone Edge and try to throw a burn over onto the Garchomp. I think it's just a decent lead for us. So we are air balloon right now. And I think you're gonna try to get off the tailwind for speed control. So I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. There's tailwind for speed control. If you want to go for an EQ, it will only hit my great tusk. And then we get off the burn. Yeah, fine. Cool. I'm cool with that. I don't mind it. Love a little air balloon. Arcanine coming in hot here. Great Tusk is soaking it. Stone Edge connecting as well. Woo! Kilowattro down the sash. Down the sash. Now all we need is this will o wisp land. This will be a big time turn one from us. My man Arcanine. Love this Pokemon. I love this Pokemon. So good at competitive play. Every single competitive game I played, Arcanine's just always solid. He's always go to. Old Reliable, we should start calling him, right? Old Reliable right there. So we end up doing some big time damage there. We can definitely just ease speed, and I'm thinking just headlong rushing this thing. Hitting this thing as hard as I possibly can. I'm all about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ease speed poking out here. Later, Kilowatcher. We're not we're not allowing this Pokemon to get off another turn. We're keeping our air balloon. He actually might be going for another EQ here. He is. Because I bet you he was going to try to take off air balloon with like a Thunderbolt or something. And we just ease speed it. So now we are just absolutely soaking. Headlong Rush doing some nice big damage. Burn's going to chip up. I could protect to let Burn do a little bit more damage and then waste out Tailwind. I might want to do that. Rough Skin doing more damage than Garchomp does and Rocky Helmet at the same time. It actually did a big chunk. And now I could E Speed, but I don't know if E Speed would KO. That's why I might want to protect and let Burn chip up with just a little bit more. But we'll see what Pokemon they bring out. It's going to be Roaring Moon. So Roaring Moon comes out here. I would love to throw a Burn on that Pokemon, right? I would absolutely love to. But how many turns is left in Trick? We're not Trick, I'm Tailwind. Two. So yeah, actually, I think uh, going for maybe just close combat here and protecting. I could protect. I could go for a straight will o -Wisp. I'm going to will o -Wisp. We're going to go for the will o -Wisp on this thing. I'm going to go for the burn. I'm going to go for the burn. We're not going to try to KO the, uh, the guard just yet. Because like I said, one more burn and then an E speed, we could pretty much just KO. And if I get off this burn onto this war moon, that pretty much is, just wins us the match, right? So Acrobat's going to fly here. Who are you going after? Arcanine? Now you're going to take out my Tusk. That's, that's no problem. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Tusk got a lot of value. Got a ton of value. Got a Tusk. Outrage coming out here. It's not doing anything crazy. You're burned. You're minus one. Air Balloon pops. Now, Slanda will o -Wisp. Old Reliable. Old Reliable. My man. My man. Double down burn. Big time burns on big time physical attackers, right? It's just big time for us. The burn's shipping up. I feel like we just bring out Fluttermane here. Right? Correct? Maybe not. We might want to wait for Tailwind to end. I'm all about the Torkoal here. I'm all about it. Do we think he brought the T-Tar? I'm all about Torkoal right now. I'm all about Torkoal. I'm all about Torkoal here. So from here, I'm just going to overheat. I still have Terra too. I do still have Terra. And I'm just going to E-Speed. E-Speed take out Chomp. No way you have T-Tar. You have T-Tar? <laughs> Our opponent has T-Tar. And guess what we're going to do next turn? I'm going to burn it. 
I'm a burn it. Oh, reliable's on fire. I might have to swap you, actually. I might have to swap the Torkoal. Whatever he's doing me pretty dirty. I definitely want to go for the burn here. Whatever he coming in hot here. <laughs> Did like five damage. We might not even win this one. This one's looking a little scary. Do I swap the Torkoal? Tailwind's gone. I mean, a rock slide's definitely coming out here. Or do I just yawn, Titar? Hmm. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap. I'm just, and I'm gonna go for the burn. Oh my god. It's actually tough. This is actually tougher than I thought it would. After we got that burn, I thought I thought we had this match on lock. And I hope he's not doubling down in front of me. He's gonna tailwind again. Arcanine. Uh, Arcanine doesn't have speed. He's gonna kill us with a rock slide, aren't you? Rock slide comes through. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we're taking weather. Oh my lord. It was real close. It was actually a lot closer than I thought it would. We're taking weather. I'm gonna overheat the War Moon, right? You gotta overheat the War Moon. This is terrible. <laughs> Buttermain Speed Titan, which is good. We gotta get rid of the War Moon. I don't know if we care the War Moon. I can't even protect you. My Speed Titan, though. Um, do we Terra in the Fairy? Right? Best bet would be Terra in the Fairy. And I'm just gonna overheat. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. It's coming down the wire here. Real question is, can Fluttermain outspeed with that Protosynthesis? That's a big time Protosynthesis, but I don't know if it can do the job. We needed that stun though, so that was a good swap from us, even though we, we, we took some damage here. Acrobat's in chaos. Go after Torkoal. That's game. Even the burns not helping us out here. The burns doing nothing for us. The burns doing nothing with War Moon. Wow, I really didn't think we had that la that match on lock after we burned. But yeah, Torkoal cannot kill Titar. Torkoal just simply cannot kill Titar. Rockside's just gonna do a ton of damage, and they're probably gonna get the flinch here too, right? Probably gonna get the flinch here too. Man, man, yep, there's the flinch. Like I said, like I said, there's the flinch. That one kind of hurts. We just did not have enough attack power to take out that T-Tar. T-Tar's uh, very bulky on that uh, special defense side. But we didn't even get a chance with uh, Fluttermane because Tailwind was just out and about. But I'm going to run this battle. We go 1 and 2 for today's video. Get to showcase a little bit of off-meta team with Belly Bolt. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1 and 2 for today's video. Definitely could have played better. So that one's my bad on my end. But tomorrow's video, I'm guaranteeing you guys a winning record. We'll use a little bit more of a meta team considering the series is ending soon. So I'll bring you guys a team that you guys can push high ranks on before the series does end. But just know, series three is coming. So we got some brand new Pokemon on the rank ladder for you guys very, very soon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.